The West Edmonton landfill on 170th Street is 150 acres of sand, dirt, garbage, and screaming gulls. Houston, Texas-based Waste Management operates this 30-year-old site. They manage 250 landfills and 150 recycling depots across North America. Doug Conan is Western Canada Landfill Director. There's speculation this landfill site could have fewer than five years of operational life remaining. Our permits, and we're permitted by a number of different agencies, including uh, different arms of Alberta Environment as well as the City of Edmonton, limit us to a certain area and limit us to a certain height and limit us to the slopes in between. So um, as we reach those limits, of course, um, the site life becomes lower and, uh, and we are in the latter stages of development of this facility. It now stands some 60 meters or almost 200 feet non-recyclable mixed municipal and household wastes, as well as special waste like contaminated soils, constantly mixed and spread with dirt and sand. We're required as our operating uh, permits establish, and as good practice, uh, to cover the waste at least once a day. It's called daily cover. So we use soils uh, for the most part for that function. In the near term, of course, when we close a facility, we'll be capping it with an engineered cap. We'll continue our environmental monitoring program for at least 20 years after closure, uh, as required by provincial requirements, uh, and in accordance with all the assurance provisions of those regulations, including, for example, financial assurance. We have to post bonds to make sure that all that stuff will be done for the period of time until the landfill stabilizes. Under it all is a network of pipes, a system to extract gases from decomposing trash. What happens um, is that as the landfill develops, a certain part of the waste, which we call either organic material or some people might refer to as putrescible material, um, once it's in the landfill begins to um, uh, stabilize or decompose. We call it landfill gas, and it's about 50% methane. So we do two things, um, among other things, but two principal things that I can mention to you. Uh, one is we contain all of that gas within the landfill through our covering, as well as through a network of wells. All around the landfill, you will see, we have, we have upwards of 100 wells at this facility, gas wells, where we then extract the gas from the landfill so that it doesn't build up and then uh, we can either destroy that gas or we can reuse it. Otherwise, in Edmonton, recyclables like metals, glass, plastic, appliances, and computers go through the Clover Bar recycling stations. Uh, the Clover Bar facility, as well as other private uh, recycling facilities, do accept those materials where they're separated as necessary, bailed, and marketed. Ultimately, once the west site is full, it will leave one gigantic hillscape for land reclaimers to work with and the need for a new location. Tim Dancy, Shaw TV, Capital Region.